Much is known about classic crooner Bing Crosby, but less is said about the tragic death of his first wife. Bing's first wife was an actress named Dixie Lee, and she was more famous than him when the two first met. Despite initial hesitancy on her part, she and Bing ended up getting married and having four children together. Join Facts First as we take a look at the life of Dixie Lee Crosby, the forgotten wife of Bing Crosby. The life story of Hollywood actress Dixie Lee Crosby is not nearly as well known as that of her more famous husband. Dixie Lee was the first wife of legendary crooner Bing Crosby. Dixie Lee was born in Tennessee on October 4, 1911. She exuded talent from an early age, and it was only during her teenage years that she won her first Broadway role as a result of a singing contest held in Chicago. She won the contest with flying colors and was subsequently on her way to New York City to make her Broadway debut. As a result of that, she secured a Hollywood contract at age 18. This came courtesy of 20th Century Fox, and the studio quickly went to work casting her in movies. In 1928, Dixie Lee first crossed paths with burgeoning star Bing Crosby, at which point she was the more famous of the two. Bing apparently found himself instantly stricken by Dixie Lee's charms, while the actress wasn't so sure about the up-and-coming crooner. Although Dixie Lee was initially hesitant to fall for the charms of Bing Crosby, the two kept crossing paths, and each time she found her defenses a little more worn down by the rising star. She officially fell for Bing's continued advances sometime in early 1929, and the two were married a little over a year later in September of 1930. They tied the knot at Hollywood's Church of the Blessed Sacrament. Throughout the early years of their marriage, Dixie Lee continued with her film career. Although she was a fairly prolific actress during that time, she never made the lasting impression that her husband went on to make. Most of her features have largely been forgotten. Her last role on screen came via 1935's Redheads on Parade, after which she stepped back from her career to focus on her home life. Despite Dixie Lee abandoning her acting career in 1935, she released a few duets with her husband the following year. Over the remainder of the 30s, Bing Crosby's star rose in a big way, and it quickly got to the point where his income was more than enough to provide for Dixie Lee as well as their kids. Dixie Lee and Bing had four children over the course of the 1930s, Gary, Philip, Dennis, and Lindsay. Bing purchased a four-acre plot of land in the Toluca Lake area of LA, and this became the family's home for many years. As Bing became more and more of a big star into the 1940s, he found he had less time to spend with family. Perhaps as a result of this, Dixie Lee found herself turning to the bottle. Despite this, it seems that Dixie Lee and Bing got along very well when he was home, and the two loved taking care of the horses they maintained on their property. Bing's breakout success came in 1942 when the singer starred in the Christmas classic Holiday Inn. The release of the film was also accompanied by the release of the classic song White Christmas, which remains one of the star's most iconic tracks. Sadly, Christmas for the Crosbys wasn't going to be white that holiday season, but red. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already, and stick around for more about Dixie Lee Crosby. In January of 1943, Dixie Lee, Bing Crosby, and their four children were taking down their Christmas decorations from the previous year when a freak accident caused the wiring from their Christmas lights to short circuit and engulf their house in flames. In a panic, Bing managed to get his wife and children out of the house, but was unable to save any of their belongings. The family subsequently had to build their lives back up from the ground. It was estimated they lost around $250,000 worth of property in the fire that claimed their home. When adjusted for inflation, that figure would be closer to $4 million today. Amongst the things lost include Bing's personal collection of musical recordings. The family moved to Beverly Hills after this. As Bing's fame increased and he began spending more and more time away from his family, Dixie Lee began to suffer from depression. In 1947, a movie was released called Smash Up! The Story of a Woman. The director had worked with Bing a year previously, and it didn't take Dixie Lee and her husband long to realize the film was a thinly veiled attack on the former actress. The film depicted a fallen starlet who had given up her career to make room in her life for her crooner husband and had subsequently fallen victim to alcoholism. The film angered Bing, but there was little he could do. Whether it was the release of that movie, or a culmination of many things that had been snowballing for years, Dixie Lee and Bing Crosby separated in 1948. But the separation didn't completely take. 
The two ended up reconciling for a short period of time, but were sadly torn apart again in 1952. In November of that year, days before Dixie Lee would have celebrated her 41st birthday, the actress passed away from cancer. She was buried two days later at the designated Crosby plot of Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, California. Following the burial, a funeral procession for Dixie Lee was held at Beverly Hills Church of the Good Shepherd. Dixie Lee arguably never got used to having a husband as famous as Bing, and Bing never got over the death of his first love. By the time she passed away, she and Bing had been married for over two decades. Though they had experienced some troubles towards the end of the marriage, it seems Bing was just as in love with her at the time of her death as he was when he first began pursuing her. Bing Crosby's friends and families had all recounted how devastated the crooner was upon the death of his first wife in 1952. However, the beloved crooner eventually managed to get over the tragic death, and he went on to remarry Catherine Crosby, who was also an actress. Bing and Catherine remained married until his death in 1977. The story of Dixie Lee and Bing Crosby is a sad one. It's hard to pinpoint where it went wrong for the couple. If Bing had been there more for Dixie Lee and his family, perhaps her health wouldn't have taken such a sour turn so early on. But the tension in their marriage was also exacerbated by outside sources, such as the decidedly antagonist and mean-spirited release of Smash Up! The Story of a Woman. Dixie Lee spent the majority of her marriage unexpectedly having to take a back seat in life to a man who was now one of the most popular entertainers in the world. Nowadays, few people even remember Dixie Lee. The actress is mostly remembered for her marriage to Bing, with most of her film works having been lost to time thanks to their decidedly dated and limited appeal. Bing refused to talk much about his late first wife after her death, though it wasn't hard to discern from the look on his face when she was brought up that he'd been deeply affected by her loss. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you remember any of Dixie Lee's work? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.